Thanks. I raided a Centerpol office. I found information on where the president is being kept. Evidently, they've been trapped in some sort of soul crystal inside Satan's palace. Breaking in is an impossibility. The best way to save them is to continue to try to draw Satan out of his palace. <laughs> William Shakespeare, humanity's greatest playwright, and hell's most diabolical purveyor of entertainment, looks on as a brave mortal on an Orphean quest enters. The bard's interest is piqued, and he looks to test his visitor's mettle. The masked tragedies were used to enemies cowering as they approached. But soon they realized that they faced a foe with courage and nobility, traits uncommon in the fires of tradition. The inciting incident resolved. The time had come for rising action. The battle raged on below, and as bullets and blood flew, the bard arched a curious eyebrow. Could this mortal be the exact thing that Shakespeare needed? Resolved, Shakespeare eagerly awaited meeting the champion that dispatched so many of his men. Undoubtedly, they were here for the Bard's aid. And while happy endings were not a thing found in hell, Shakespeare always had a soft spot for comedies. In the land of the living, William Shakespeare is regarded as one of the most prolific playwrights of all time. However, to the denizens of Hell, the Bard is seen in a far different light. After selling his soul for fame and adoration, Shakespeare served in Hell as Satan's spy master general. In doing his duty, Shakespeare would punish the souls he was investigating by forcing them to perform in grotesque passion plays for Satan's amusement. But in a Twelfth Night-esque twist, Shakespeare found himself living a double life. While he projected an image of cruelty, his heart was as soft as Jezebel's. In secret, he would tutor her on the classics and act out the works of his mortal days. When Satan found out, he cast Shakespeare out of the palace, believing that the poet would be tormented by the populace of Hell, far out of Jezebel's sight. But Satan had not counted on the bard's cunning. 
embracing his persona of master torturer, Shakespeare and his followers, the tragedies, took root in the entertainment district, biding their time for revenge. And so Shakespeare called forth the deus ex machina to bestow our protagonist with the arcane power of force. The mortal stands in the training grounds, eager to try out his new force stomp power on the group of demons in front of them. Face me! Scene two, in which our protagonist kills more demons with Act Two, in which our protagonist is greeted by foul imps. Which our protagonist learns that Force Stomp even works on flying enemies, enabling them to remove a dark inst. The day is won, and the curtain closes on our noble hero. Gotta pick it up. Fucking collectibles. You can thank me later. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all day long. I wanted to torture you, why'd they use the short version? This is the short version? Oh yeah! The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. On the bus goes, <laughs> My mom had like 80 of them. 
Winning isn't important. Come, let us return to my castle, so we may plot our next steps in proper surrounds. Johnny led Vlad back to his castle, which since his incarceration became a haven for frat parties and squatters. But the systematic impaling of trespassers would have to wait. Vlad was a man of his word, and was eager to provide intel that could aid in hobbling Satan's armies. Bestow upon you the Stygian cold fire. I brought you to this inferno to teach you about the power I have granted you. Cold fire is an order. Which means you must activate the power and get close to an enemy before they will feel the cold embrace of the Stygian flames. Well done, my friend. Now here comes a dark inciter. Use your aura, then get close to him. You've done it. Doesn't it feel good to watch an enemy burn? for the collection. Gotta pick it up. Take me working for Altor? The fuck you think you're doing? We're standing in a parking garage. I don't like it either, but Centerpool isn't giving us many options. I can't believe they tried to force us out. I can't believe you forgot the mimosas. I think we have bigger problems. I don't think you realize how much I love mimosas. I can't help but notice. 
The people are trying to kill you. Man. Yeah, they're really big on that here. What did you do? Is now really a good time? We can wait until we're done shooting people. Well, I'm great at multicast. Remember when we offered you a deal on that airplane and you responded by killing everyone? Yeah. It's like that, but worse. Yeah. Anyone got a mop? That one time I killed a lot. You should know that Kinsey misses you. Really? That's so sweet. Who's Kinsey? You remember Kinsey. She was that hacker that Matt Miller hated. Isn't she crazy? You know, she really grows on you.
Let's get you two back to Dane. Hooray! After being reunited in Hell, Kiki and Viola wasted no time in doing what they do best. Facilitate the running of businesses. However, the De Winter sister's success did not sit well with other would-be power players in Hell. The sisters' operations all came under attack at once, forcing them on the run. Soon, the twins found themselves on the receiving end of an offer they couldn't refuse. After all, it was better to own one-fifth of something than to be dead. You helped us, now let us help you. Here's a little something made popular by another group of sisters, the Gorgons. Dane's letting us use his Ultor training room to test out your Stone Blast power. So go ahead and blast these demons to turn them to stone. And after they're petrified, you can use your pistol to shatter them. Winning isn't important. Nice! Stone Blast is especially useful on flying demons like this one. Alright, now let's see you drop a few more. A blast will also take down the shield of a Dark Insider, leaving it vulnerable to gunfire. Take this Dark Insider- I think you've got the gist of it. Alright, let's go.